So the other day, our good friends at American Manufacturing Group, Vinny and Brian, stopped by and they brought us this cool little carving kit for Glock. And most of you that know me know that I'm quite a skeptic. And uh, normally I wouldn't even consider even looking at something like this, but it's actually intriguing to me. A couple of things. It comes with the, the buttstock kit. It comes with the barrel and all the parts you need. So it's plug and play. It's a commercial style buffer tube and a diameter size. So if you don't like this buttstock that it comes with, you can easily buy any commercial size buttstock and throw it on there. Now, the way it works is you want to get rid of your OEM guide rod spring or save it for later, not get rid of it. And you're going to take the barrel. Insert the replacement guide rod swing. Now this is really important because obviously the length of the barrel is going to change the pressure and the round and velocity and all that fun junk. So it won't work with your factory guide rod. Reassemble the rest of the pistol. Next thing you do is insert this little collar bushing and this barrel nut. Rotate it so the set screws on the closest flat. Set the set screw. Okay. Once that's done, it's ready to go. Install your butt stock. Pull back the spring lever here. Slide that on. Put the spring lever into place. Just like so, it works with both Gen 4 and a Gen 3. Right now, it's only available for Glock 17. Uh, they're telling us it's going to come out in a version for every model of Glock and eventually Springfield and all your other pistols, mainstream pistols. So basically the advantages to this that I see is for the person that maybe has had an injury in their hands, carpal tunnel, whatever, and the recoil of the, of, of the handgun is just too much for them to bear. So this is a great opportunity for them to still shoot a handgun, still have all the same you know, fun and benefits to it. The drawback obviously is concealed carry. Probably not going to work very well. We'll illustrate that a little bit later. The other option is younger people, children maybe, that again can't handle recoil. Maybe you've just gotten to that point in age of life where it's hard to handle recoil. Or for the long range accuracy aspect of it, we still have to test it so we don't really know. But and obviously, you can mount the weapon much more consistent and be able to get a, a more consistent sight picture as you fire the weapon, as opposed to driving it out like we would traditionally. A lot of people, if they just don't train a lot, they don't have that skill level. This can allow them to still sight the weapon and shoot it more reliably and accurately. Like I saying, there's some suppressor options maybe, some other things coming out on the market. We'll probably revisit that later. For now, let's go out to the range. All right, we're out here at the range. We're gonna test the new lock, stock, and barrel from AMG. Kid, why don't you give us a couple rounds of this first 10 yard target? So basically, the way this kit works, like we said earlier, you just replace your barrel with the included barrel of the kit, the guide rod, and the butt stock, fully adjustable. Um, let's have some fun. We'll just shoot some targets from here at 10 yards, 20, 15 yards, and 20 yards. Pretty fun, pretty reliable. A couple mags, no malfunctions so far. I like it. The cons, well, here you go. Concealed carry. Doesn't work too well for concealed carry. Unless you're the kid, he's good at it. Training them out, still no malfunctions.